Yeah, we've got a debate going on in the studio. That they're, they're of Irish descent, House of Pain. Is that right? So if you look at the video, if you go on YouTube and look at it tonight, there's all got Irish flags in the background. Beautiful, I didn't know all that. Go. Every day. We've got balloons tonight, Jones. You, you bought balloons. We have, yeah. Um, you know, you said uh, you wanted Danny Boy download it. We wanted yeah. to, to sing it. And straight away, oh, things popping away. Danny Boy. And uh, Peter it. K jumped into my head. And uh, <laughs> when he's running around with alien balloons, isn't he? Making it all silly. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, I know, I'll take some. Oh, we get, we'll do well, it later. Well, I, I don't want to I don't want to induce anything here. So I know how your, uh, your mind works. But I just thought I'd bring some nice decorative balloons. Uh, we've got green, we've got white, we've got some orange ones, Irish flag, just sets a bit of a, a roof and, and we refract some light off it as well, get some Irish colours going what on. What we'll do is we'll do, knowing me, knowing you, we'll long and later, on helium. Don't say on helium, it sounds bad that. Off my it? nut on helium, <laughs> getting out of my mind, helium out of my head, <laughs> going wild. Right, it's time to bring our first guest on tonight. Going to pass you over to the Masters of Ceremony, Chew Dog. In the red corner, weighing in at 85 kilos, the warrior from Wigan, the legend that is Sean Long. Hey. <laughs> Long, you got, you, you've grown your dreads back for tonight. I'm, I'm loving it. You need to put your head right into this. It's a special. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Now, you only sound like you. <laughs> <laughs> you look like like a tranny from a, an, one of them girl bands in the 90s, you know, like early 90s girl band, like yeah. Bewitched. I don't mind that, don't mind that, <laughs> trannies and all that, yeah. It's like some ritual from Amazon Rainforest. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, I like it, I like uh, the get up tonight, so I'm buzzing. Right, uh, welcome to, it's, it's different, last time you were you, you came to see us, oh, we got you with the, red, the hot wings. It, yeah, the first yeah. thing you said to me, no more hot wings. No more hot wings, no, that was, you put me hot wings for, off hot wings for life absolutely destroyed me I thought I was I'd take it yeah I, yeah. Like, I like a bit of spicy food but <laughs> that was just savage were it too you. much for you? yeah too much and I couldn't drink for like three minutes or something like that wasn't it? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the afterburn yeah yeah you, no, you did no, really well you swore on, on Yorkshire Radio which you, you, you can't really swear here but you can in a way because yeah. it's, not, it's not like no, no sorry you can't swear on here no no, no. <laughs> I didn't think I would to be fair I said no I won't, I won't swear I'll be alright and next minute he just slipped out but you know what I mean that's <laughs> what, did I get the record you, you, you did I think you did get the record I did not yeah. right, did I, I did you really like, like 40 odd seconds yeah yeah I was, hungry. I was hungry like but <laughs> so yeah. the, the, the hot wings yeah he smashed it mate wow because yeah, yeah. you've tried it, Jonesy, as well. I've done it, yeah, I enjoyed it. I do, I do like the wings, but I couldn't eat them that quick. Just couldn't get it off the bone quick enough. Oh, I sucked it. So, <laughs> sucked it all off, like, yeah. <laughs> that was the worst. I, I, Hello. I, I nearly put it on, on my eyes and burnt my eyes off. You won't be, you won't be guy. One big guy, yeah, the OBE. <laughs> it was funny that when I went, to, I, went to the, I went to the pub, like, with all my mates, and I said, uh, you know, Scully, I think Scully just got an MBA or something like that, and I said, oh, I've, I've, I've got an OBE, and everyone was, like, buzzing and saying, Oh yes, <laughs> get him a pint. And I went, no, I've just got one big eye. <laughs> I was like, oh. yeah, no, no. Okay. Well, you've had a, you've had a. Tri we're going to talk about everything tonight. So obviously, the, the paper, the story in the paper about your difficult time you've had it over Christmas time. We'll ask you about that in a bit. But also, um, too, I'm, I'm on, I'm on the men now. Don't on the men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't bring back all members. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad again. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to talk about everything tonight, but you, you, you've got a new new home now. You're back at Salford. I am, yeah. I'm, I'm back to where I started my, my coaching career. You know, I was there uh, 18 months, and you know, you didn't, you don't know how good it is at the time when he was there last year, and uh, you know, I, I left and, and went to Wigan. You know, probably a bad decision in hindsight going there, but um, you know, things didn't work out, and um, you know, I'm just glad to be back. It's, you know, it's a lot. It's changed a lot since I left. You know. Uh, you know, in, in like six six months ago, so you know, Kukash is too cover now. It's a lot more professional, and you know, the facilities they've got, the boys, it's, it's like a footballer's crib at times. Is it? Yeah, it's mint. We've got a little football pitch in the middle of the office and everything. No, not football, but a rugby pitch. Honestly. Yeah, in the office, and uh, everyone puts stands there if you want to put moves on and stuff like that. You just put your disc out and. Yeah, there's IMAX everywhere and it's a big office. That. <laughs> it is a big office. It's, honestly, I'm joking now, don't you? I'll, I'll take a picture tomorrow and tweet it. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so the Red Devolution is because it's it's an exciting time for Salford. It's very exciting times. Uh, you know, Marlon's put a, a top team together, and uh, you know we just need to start gelling on the field now, and you know putting some performances together. And, you know, it's always going to be difficult. Witness did it. I remember Witness did it a few years ago, and um, 
you know, they put like a, a pretty good team together, you know, they spent a lot of dough and all that, but it's taken them a couple of years to get right. Um, hopefully we'll do it in a couple of weeks, but, you know, not a couple of years. So. Um, right, I want to get my other guest out tonight, um, very close to me. Huh? I'll pass you back over to, uh, to Chew Dog. In the orange and black corner, weighing in at 90 kilos, the whip it from Winmore, Jordan the Cat Tanzi. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, yes, man. I kid. Um, the cat. You have had more lives than a cat, definitely. It's put your head right in there. The tiger. What? Why? Where's the cat? Where's the cat come from? Yeah. Where's the cat come from? Tiger. It's nine lives. Ah, I see. Yeah. Like I like it. that chew dog. Yeah, feline. Yeah. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, good. Big day tomorrow. Yeah, big day. You gonna tell them everyone? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta talk about your big day tomorrow. Come on. Personal. Man. Personal. Personal. He's got a big day tomorrow. Good luck with it. We're going to do a parent club later on with me and Jonesy. We'll get you on yeah. it. Because you're going to be a dad. Yeah, I'm going to be a dad. Yeah. Things are going to change. Yeah, uh, things things have changed with you, 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 you would say. Because you, obviously you've been, you've been a bit of a journeyman. You've had a few clubs. Uh, Roosters, Hull, Cass. Now, things at Cass can't seem to be much better. You, you're killing it on the, on the pitch at the moment. And everyone thought you might struggle with, with, with um, Rangi leaving. Uh, to Salford, obviously, we're longer, but how's, how's, th how's, how's things been at Cass? No, it's going real good, obviously. We've had a um, good start to the season. Um, couldn't have done better, really, five from five. So, yeah, things going good pre-season. We had a good pre-season, and, yeah, it's showing on pitch. Has Rangi Levy made a difference? I, I mean, the dynamics obviously must be different. It's a lot revolved around him, but I guess now everybody's got more of an individual input. Yeah, obviously, it's changed. Rang's a world-class player, like he would fit in any team, but... We've got more of a structure now and um, yeah, everyone's got their own role and obviously it seems to be paying off on pitch, everybody doing their own role and working hard for each other. Big journey that you're going on, is it a team real cohesive, really tight knit and uh, enjoying themselves? Yeah, it's real tight, yeah, Daryl's come in and brought his own squad in what he wanted and now it's going real good, everyone's real close and it's showing on pitch, everybody working hard for each other. I've got to ask you, you you've been in and out of the team because it seems to be like you play one week, Donnie plays another week, how are you feeling about that? <coughs> Yeah, well, that's part and parcel of the game, isn't it? There's um, obviously me and Downey, but our full-backs, so, yeah, I'll just rotate the squad and see who fits which team we play against, and, yeah. Um, other bits, obviously, Hubert's testimony, so you've got some, so, some uh, big players on the pitch, and Carney, he don't, you get much bigger than him for a winger. Um, I don't know if you saw last week the uh, spat they were having, who were we, Dan Sargerson? Dan Sargerson calling him out on, on Twitter. Uh, yeah, seen that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he is he is he a bit mad? Is kind of. Yeah, he's pretty crazy, like. But yeah, I wouldn't want to tackle him on pitch. He's a big lad for a winger and very strong. So, yeah. And uh, Jonesy always says every time we talk about Cass, you hate Cass, don't you? I don't hate Cass at all. That's a good place, Cass. I'm at come on now. Come on. Amateur clubs are great. <laughs> I, oh no, sorry. I know you're getting that. Yeah. Playing at Cass, yeah, is horrible, mate. It's like going to hell. It's disgusting, but I don't. I like Cass. Is it? The best thing about Cass is it's a proper rugger team. Proper yeah, yeah. Go into changing rooms, they stink of deep heat. No one at showers work. All toilets stink. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a proper, proper rugby club. So I love Cass for that, but I'm just saying, out of respect for Cass, it's a real tough place to go and play. So, uh, Jordan, you, you played for the Roosters, you played for Hull, you played for Leeds, three of the biggest clubs in the world. How does Cass compare when he, when he, when he says that how bad it is? To be honest, it's probably most I've enjoyed my rugby at Cass. Is yeah. it? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it out of all clubs. Now I'm really enjoying it. Why is that? No, I just think there's a close group of players and um, now obviously it's started well and I'm playing regular football and it's last year I think I played every game but one, so once you're playing you're enjoying it more and obviously when I've been at a few other bigger clubs I didn't play as much so now I'm really enjoying it at Cass. He, obviously, you've, you've had to, you've been you've been in papers and all sorts of stuff in your, in your time in, in your career, and obviously things are changing. You've definitely grown up loads in the last couple of years, and you're gonna be a family man and stuff. Do you look back with any regret on any any of the places you've been? Is there any, is there way you think, well, actually, you know, would it, if I could do things differently, is there anything you'd change? <laughs> yeah, probably a lot of things. Yeah, look at you. We should we should have till nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have the regret club of us free tonight. Come here, Jonesy, yeah. could be our counsellor. Mm. 
Do you know what? I've got a, a special piece. I've brought it with me. It's, I've brought a bit of a show and tell for YouTube side. Come it out. It's certainly one thing I won't change. It's thanks to John Tanzi. This this is on my bedroom wall. I've just pulled it off my bedroom. It's a bit sad thing to have on your wall. It's one of my favourite pictures, right, of my career. And I bang it up there. It might go on there on YouTube another time. And this is at the Millennium Stadium. Played Bradford, massive derby. Yeah. Uh, getting beaten. Some Bradford fans are giving me some right hammer. Although when you stood at back at line, yeah. they're giving me some right stick, terrorist. All, all lot of them, right? I'll okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, but Back then, back then, I used to have a bit of air, right? And uh, anyway, um, right at the last minute, with uh, Kev Simpson, he's got to <laughs> Only kick a little a goal. bit of air. He's got, he's got to kick a goal. Uh, Tanzi scored the winning try, and I've run straight over to Bath and Fazer and given him it. There's still a bit of contention as to whether Tanzi was onside or not. It might have been. Uh, there's a question about whether he was onside. Yeah. He, he had offside, side, but um, you know, it's interesting what you're saying there about Cass and, and regardless of what the ground's like. I think in rugby league, it don't matter. The only people, kids, young kids, say, "What's the highlight of your career?" Obviously, winning trophies and all that's brilliant. But when you look at photographs, you see the people on there that you've had the journey with, that you, that you know and have become real friends. Uh, and it's the people on the photographs that that make the pictures. It's not where you are or what you're doing or the trophies that you won. It's the journeys that you go on with the people. And obviously, you can see that's why Cass are having such a good time with it, minute because they all mean so much to each other. And what what, what, are, the char what are the characters like down there, Cass? Because I, we, we we see like we, we know a lot of you lads from other clubs like Wakey we, we're pretty close to those but we don't really know that many people at Cast is it a good bunch of lads yeah there's a few like Carney he's one of pranksters and that yeah there's, there's a few a lot of banter anyway is it? And, yeah it's pretty good it's how's Gibbo getting on he's been injured hasn't he yeah he's been a bit quiet Gib he's like he's been injured he hasn't really played this year he's had a um, few setbacks but I think he's fit in about two weeks, so he'll be trying to force his way back in team. It seems like a good competition for places as well. He's, he's got quite a quite a good squad down there. Uh, Liam Finn made that step up from the championship, and there were a lot of people thinking, "Will he make it?" Well, and I know Halifax were, were in for him, desperate to get him down at Halifax, um, and missed out because he went over to Cass and made that. He, he, I think he quit as an electrician, he was a full-time electrician. He quit for his dream to play rugby at 29. That's pretty old to it go full time. But he seems to be doing really well. And is he, have you seen much of him longer because he plays your position? Yeah, I keep in touch with him. I coached him at, at Featherstone. You know, I, I spent some quality time with him. And, you know, he's got a great kicking game. He, he's very smart. You know, everyone says he lacks a yard, but, you know, the way I played him, you know, on the ball, you don't have to be all that quick. you just got to fix defenders and, you know, let, let the other guys run good lines. And like you say, he's very smart. And I think, you know, he's got a good balance at, you know, Cass. You know, everyone's comp complimenting one another. You know, he's, he's, he's teamed up with Sneedy and you've got Tansy at the back, so, you know, that they're, they're really doing well. And I'm impressed as well, really, with the, not just the halfbacks, but the the, the two front rowers, Lynch and Hubie. Uh, he's, they've been going awesome this year and uh, they've been laying the foundations for, for, for Tansy and, and the backside. So, yeah, they, yeah, and Finney's a quality lad, quality player and very smart. I've watched quite a lot of rugby this year. I've uh, been trying to keep as much, keep on to play as much as I can. One player that's, every single time I've seen him play, He's had, a, he's had a brilliant game and that's Daryl Clark he, he seems to be going from strength to strength what's he, what's he like he's the only young kid isn't he yeah for Clark he's one of the class players yeah he's I think he's about 20 21 but yeah he's one of the best players he's real good it'll be uh, hard to keep him I reckon yeah I, I think like the way they're playing at the moment Cass they're just fighting for every rook and getting quick play the ball so you know when you've got someone like Clark who's taking off at dummy half he's just carving teams up straight through the middle and you know, it, you know they're playing really well at the moment. We've got them on on Sunday, you know, down down at uh, our stadium. So uh, you know, it'll be a tough game. Yeah, it, sh it should be quite good. I mean, how's how's the injuries looking? Because you got some shockers, didn't you, to start your season? Yeah, yeah, we've still got a few lads out. Hopefully, we might get uh, one or two back this week. Uh, not too sure on that, but the, you know, the, the, hopefully the physio will give us a couple of players back this week. What um, what when I see you on these, <coughs> what's my one like as a person? He's a legend. Is he? <laughs> yeah, he's a legend. Is he? Is he? Is he like bonkers? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's 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 bonkers, like yeah. So we well, want to get him on age. Yeah, he'd yeah, come yeah. Hundred percent. He'd love it on here. He'd come on here and just talks talks his mind and speaks the truth. Whatever he feels, just you know that's what he says. And you know that's that's my one. But you know I think he's just got ambition f for the club, but and for the club, you know for rugby league as well. He just got so much ambition. Uh, he wants to you know take it to the next level and. 
you know, why not? I say. That ambition as well, it's spread family wide, obviously. I don't yeah. know if you've met Martha, we won't go too much into it now, so we've got a little bit of a look at the game reviews, but have you met his wife Martha? She looks like she could be another prominent figure of. Mandy. Is, is it Mandy? Mandy. Martha. Martha. <laughs> 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 I think I don't know. Who's I thought, Martha. I thought Martha's holding Mandy. <laughs> is that your right. side? Fair enough. Yeah. I don't know where I've got they, Martha they, from. They was at the game, uh, I think it was Bradford and Huddersfield <laughs> game, and, you know, so they, they've got a inter- bit of interest in Bradford, and, you know. Um, I, if I if I was Bradford, I'd be rubbing my hands, you know. If I yeah. just come in, you know, to have the Kukashis taken over that as well, it'd be mint. I, I, I missed the game on Sunday because uh, I was supposed to be working at the Bradford game. I've had, I've had laryngitis really bad, so I haven't been on the radio or anything. But uh, I, w- I was looking forward to meeting this week as well. But I've got his number now. You give me his number. I'll give you his, yeah. He's got his uh, PA. I, I got his um, his direct number. I rang him up and I explained who I want. I wanted to interview him for Rugby League World. And he was fine. He was sound. Yeah. He's like, yeah, 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 I'll do it. And then just before anyway, who are you again? What, what do you play for? What do you do? <laughs> and I run for a lot of questions. Who are you? And uh, then he gave me his PA's number to arrange something. But yeah, top top man. When I was there, people buzzing around him. You can see it charismatic side of him, and uh, everybody just wants to know what Marwan wants and what it wanted. Brilliant, mate. It's great to have them sort of people in our game. I think he said uh, the other week that he'd sooner watch rugby league than than having out with Beyonce or something like that. But you know, it, I'm not sure about that, mate. That's what I said. I said <laughs> I love rugby, but mm, not go that far. <laughs> Right, we're going to get on to game reviews. Uh, we're going to start off with Salford Warrington and then uh, we're going to play a tune. So, do you want to talk about Salford? If, am I talking about Salford? This I've, this I've got it down here. Le- got, led by I, JJB. Yeah, that's fine, mate. I, uh, I was going to start with Wigan, but we'll start with Salford. Uh, Salford 12, Warrington Moors 28. Obviously, we've got a Salford guy uh, here. Uh, some of the tries. Man Friday, is that how you say it? Man Friday, Man, like Robinson Man, Crusoe. Man Friday. Man Friday. He's <laughs> got <us> two tries. <laughs> Uh, Johnson and then for Warrington we've got Bridge, I am Ormsby, John Monaghan, Asatasi and uh, Ratchford with four big goals. Big Roy. Um, big massive fella. Roy. I mean. Roy. Roy. I just wondered Roy. what what the. Uh, Roy. Roy. Have we finished now? Can I do my review? Is that, is that Roy. Right? <laughs> <I love it. laughs> Uh, obviously, Salford another another defeat. A lot of people talked him up, uh, including Marwan. Maybe put him. I don't know. Daryl Griffin was here. Uh, was it last week? Um, he, he didn't think he put too much pressure on him. But I just wondered, in terms of the short term goals, uh, to turn things around pretty quick, start getting back to some uh, winning ways, and then building performance as well. You know, what's on the agenda for, for Salford? Um, we, we obviously we just put some simple structures in place. You know, with the attack and that, we're just gonna keep on going with that and go into a bit more detail on. You know, tweaking things and, and fixing defenders and stuff like that, and you know who we're playing at. But uh, you know, I think at first we've we've got to fix our defence. We're laying too many points, and you know, if you concede in twenty twenty eight, it's quite a lot. So hopefully we can get our defence right at weekend, and you know that's the main goal. What we've worked on this week, and then with it being a long turnaround, we we have got time to you know to do some practice on, on the attack. What's your role specifically? Are you working with Vars? Are you working with kickers? Or are you, are you an offensive type coach? Or what have you been doing? Yeah, I do. We do kicking every day. Uh, we I do individual video of, of the te- you know the training review. Uh, I work with the halves you know, individually as well, you know, to get to certain points on the field and give them a bit of direction, but also go into the line and, and you know, fixing defenders, getting to the right defenders on the field. And, uh, you know, I have put some attacking structures in place. So, you know, uh, yeah, quite quite a lot, but really enjoying it. I know a lot of coaches say the next best thing to play in is, is obviously coaching. Do you still get that gratification from, you know, working with somebody during the week, squaring people up and then seeing them execute that and get joy from it on a weekend? Yeah, I love it, love it. <laughs> You know, you know, just to like you say, it's the next best thing. It's not as good as playing, obviously, but you know, I do get a massive buzz out of it. Even in training, and you know, I've put some players on what you know what I've told them to do, and it comes off. You know, I, I, I don't know. It is, it is quite, it's quite. Uh, Makes me buzz. Yeah, I'll get a buzz out of it. Big time. Obviously, it's a big, uh, tough match that for the Salford. Obviously, weren't in a massive team. Uh, they've got back to some sort of form. They've got Wigan this week, which I think is going to be uh, really interesting. Uh, can we move on to more t- next people? Have you got any? We're, no, we're going to play tunes. Apparently, we're there's play a tunes, couple of issues with sound, so we're going to sort that out uh, earlier on. How, how bad's this year? So I was sat. We, we put the Eminem and Carol and uh, Kev Brown show, which were fantastic. They're good value. Kev Brown's mental. He's, he's fully, fully mental. Is you it? think nice, reserved guy, married and that. Absolute, like, legend. It Fun. changes the way that you pursue, perceive him as well, oh, playing against mate. him. When I was playing against him, instead of saying, seeing the Kev Brown of old, obviously the Kev Brown that I sat next to here and here a couple of weeks ago, and <laughs> just kept, I had a few little words with him on the floor, kept me smiling. It's all good, good fun. <laughs> then, but yeah, I, I put the, the, that show on five till seven before we start tonight, and uh, I thought, I must listen to it, so I put, per, went to push per, play on my app, no sound coming out. Like, 
All right. Tried it again. Thought I my phone. Walked upstairs. No, it didn't work. Kitchen, didn't work. All right, phone developer. Oh, I wonder who was going to phone first, you know, from what apps to make. Oh, yeah, I'll say, just been, it's going to take a couple of hours, Mike. Got a big short week. In two hours, get it on now. It's like going mental. But they made his little page and stuff. So there's a few different ways to listen tonight. Uh, you can try us on www.allstarfm.co.uk. You've got the app. There's also uh, an emergency page, which we'll tweet out now. Um, but we'll get that fixed if there's any problems. So, yeah, well, it's the one percent is Jonesy. Absolutely, we're getting there every week. Um, and now we're, we're going backwards, five or six percent with balloons in the air. But yeah. uh, one of them went off earlier. <laughs> Tansy started stinking. <laughs> he, uh, he thought I had something under this uh, gilet that I had on. <laughs> I'm running into a uh, shed, but yeah, laughing up it is. You've got to keep improving yep. and uh, taking some big strides this week, and hopefully, we'll keep going. Hopefully, we'll be in the new place two or three weeks. It's uh, looking good, so all building forward. Right, tune time.